Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. What are these mysterious blue boxes doing in the marshes of Cape Cod? Find out next. CapeCast! Well, Gabriel, what are we looking at right here? This is a greenhead fly trap. The flies that are out there biting you at the beaches that you can't stand, you keep slapping them away, they end up, they're very attracted to these boxes. So we put out 900 of them all around Barnstable County. They attract the females that are looking for blood, go into these and they're not out biting you. Well, now wait a second, what makes the flies go into this box? There are a couple things working for you. First of all, the color blue. This is a very attractive color to flies. So bathing suits, I would not get one in this color blue. Just a hint. Um, the other thing is their visual attractant. Greenhead flies are low flying flies. All sorts of, the biting insects, they tend to focus on a certain part of the body that they'll bite. And with these flies, they're low flying. They wanna bite like the belly of a deer. So they see something visually standing on the marsh. This color is very attractive. They go under to bite the belly. And what you find is underneath is an inverted V screen. It's like a fish trap, a minnow trap. They end up hitting that screen. They see the sky, so they keep going up. They go through and they can't find their way back out again. Now there's also a certain scent that's sometimes used in these exactly. boxes. Exactly, that's the other thing that's going. In this trap, you can see one. What it is, is it's plastic strip. And inside that strip is a chemical. It's slow releasing. The chemical is octanol. It's a component of ox breath. It's something that they found when they were trying to trap tsetse flies, the flies in Africa that spreads African sleeping sickness. They found that they were attracted to this odor. And so we decided to use them in the greenhead fly traps and they increase our catch by about three times. Now, do you have any idea like how effective these things are in a season? How many flies meet their maker in a box like this? In a box that doesn't have any bait in it, no octanol, just standing out there on a very small marsh, just the visual attractant. In about six weeks, one of those boxes, you get three to 5,000 flies, all female flies that would have been out there biting. On a big marsh like Sandy Neck, put in that attractant, you know, you get more flies, you got a big marsh where they're coming from you might get 30,000 flies in one trap in six weeks. So David, you're a lifeguard here at Gray's Beach. Tell me about your daily battle with the greenhead fly. Uh, we throw some, uh, some spray on, uh, deep woods off, and we uh, kind of just slap them off all day long. Patrons always leave because of it, you know? They keep coming, right? There's something about a greenhead fly that says, <laughs> I am going to get that blood. Oh, for sure. For sure. They like your legs a lot. Now, David Kelly, the lifeguard we spoke to earlier, is showing us the wound. Wound. Oh man, look at that raised flesh there. <laughs> That's a greenhead fly. Oh man, your body must not like that bite. We found out from the bug expert that certain people just really respond poorly to these bites of like sometimes mosquitoes and yeah. greenhead flies. You're one of those oh, people? Yeah. yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Apparently, huh? <laughs> and you're a lifeguard. You're sitting on that chair like an appetizer. Right, right. I'm a delicious appetizer. Oh, very I delicious. I gotta eat more garlic. I guess that was a, a rumor. <laughs> that uh, garlic deters well, them a little bit. Well, these greenhead flies are like little vampires, man. Yeah, <laughs> get, get up my cross and steak. It's like Twilight 4, the greenhead. <laughs> right. Now, when they're looking for that blood meal, are they actually like biting you? Do they have something they sting you with? What's going on there? They do. They have mouth parts that are slightly different. Most people think of mosquitoes with those piercing and sucking mouth parts. Greenhead flies actually have mouth parts that are sort of sponging, like that movie, The Fly. Nobody remembers that anymore. Jeff Goldblum, anybody. great movie. That's right, that's right. With those sponging mouth parts, what they do is they actually cut a hole in your skin with some cutting mouth parts, and it makes a pool of blood. They spit into that pool, and their saliva has an anticoagulant. It keeps your blood from clotting and thickening, so it stays real liquidy. That's why you still sometimes see that drop of blood. So they spit in there, that's where the pain comes from. They have actually done studies. You'd think it'd be the ripping, it's not. It's the saliva, it's your body reaction. So they spit in there and then they sponge up your blood. If you let them stay that long, usually oh. not so much. Oh man, now is this year a, a worse or a better greenhead fly year? Do you know yet? It looks, it looks much worse, especially if you just compare it to last year. Last year, if you remember June, do you remember June? It was terrible. Yes. There were storms, the marshes were flooded. Those flies couldn't pupate on the surface of the marsh. I hate it when I can't pupate. That's right, it's terrible. So anyway, <laughs> they, they decide to wait another year. So the flies that would have been hatching last year, it was nice last year, they're hatching this year perhaps. 
Gabecast.